Relax, buddy. Relax. Hey, Harley. You okay, buddy? Stop it. Lightning man. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. We're not doing anything. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Relax, buddy. Stop it. time to talk about why do you breathe through your stomach because uh, think of it like the ocean this is a lot of just st a storm coming pretty much and it's just cr the if you're standing at the shoreline the waves coming are gonna be like tsunamis pretty much it's just gonna keep crashing and crashing and it's gonna take you take over um, you know it could be deadly but if you go further deeper into the ocean not I guess that's a bad analogy if there's a storm but if it's just regular waves coming, <laughs> it'll crash harder on the, on the shore than if you go back in deeper into the ocean. In the deeper in the ocean, it's more of just a swell. So when you breathe through your chest, then you know it starts to you know seem it starts to add to the momentum of you know this going on. But if you breathe through your belly, it sort of absorbs all the the waves crashing, the waves of frustration and, um, you know, just fear and whatever, anxiety that, that's, you know, that's crashing in, you absorb it deep in your belly. And I got a big belly, you know, so I got a lot to absorb. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, uh, you want to absorb it through your belly and then... Okay, here's where it gets tricky because we got to do the neck and head. So if he does flail, I just gotta be quick and catch him. While they're in the moment, while they're thrashing and fighting, um, they're they're not really thinking about how high off the ground they are. <laughs> so you know they're just gonna do whatever to fight to get away from you. But then when they go crashing on the ground, either on their leg or on their head or their neck, then you know. We got a bigger problem on our hands, so we want to try to keep them on the table and not fight. There we go. Since I'm going to be using scissors around his face and his, around his sensitive areas, I want him to get used to it and know that it's, a, it's something to give him affection. Good boy. Because a lot of times it's the, like this shine, the reflection off the light that kind of sometimes makes them react but there you go buddy oh he's not neutered yeah he's not neutered he got some hairy balls okay and i only know what you shouldn't do because i've done it 
And what you shouldn't do, and I'll do it away from him, is, you know, with shaky hands, like, oh, uh, you know, feeling like, oh, you know, with shaky hands a little bit, like hesitant, you know, that, oh, like this, you know, like going at, like, if you're gonna touch this guy, you have to just touch him, you know? You have to just touch him, because if I would hesitate and I go at him, you know, hesitantly, he will bite. But if I just go and touch him, like nothing's gonna happen, then he, he's okay with that. I, how do I explain this? We hate in others what we hate in ourselves, so if we're insecure, we're not gonna want to hang out with insecure people. We like to hang out with very confident people, um, people who are maybe like the popular type, because they're the ones who make us feel better to hang out with. Um, we somehow feel less insecure by being hanging out with them. So, <coughs> with him, same thing, because he's so insecure and nervous, and then he ah, snaps and bites, you know, we have to just be very confident about whatever we do. So why are my hands not shaky? You know, because the old me, when I first started grooming, the adrenaline would be pumping, my heart rate would be racing, and you know, my hands would be all shaky, and that would just continue to draw more, more of the same. And so how can my hands be less, not shaky anymore? It's because I've learned to trust the dog. <laughs> so it sounds crazy, but um, learning to learn, learning to read their body language, understand their body language. You know, knowing that that's nothing personal against me. He's just letting me know how you know nervous he is, I guess. And w knowing what I have to do. So I guess knowledge, knowledge is how you overcome fear, and absorbing the knowledge and applying it. But because I completely trust the dog, knowing what I know, it opens the door and allows him to trust me, you know, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Best I could explain it. Caesar's way, baby. Caesar's way. He's very calm. Nice.